Dr. Backpacker and Kids here, and today we're camping in the Grand Canyon National Park. Okay. Dr. Backpacker and Kids here, and today we're hiking the Rim Trail at Grand Canyon National Park. kids here and today we're on the rim trail at Grand Canyon. Elk. Oh. And a, and a baby pig thing. That one's pretty cute. I like that one. <laughs> the Grand Canyon Tarantula. Over here in the Mather Campground. According to Hopi mythology, this figure here represents the sun dog. When hiking in deserts like this, you want to keep yourself hydrated and make sure to drink plenty of water to keep yourself hydrated. Also pack a ton of water in your backpack if you're going on a hike. Number two, it's best to hike in the mornings and the evenings so it's cooler. Make sure you pack sunscreen too. And also, you do not want to get heat stroke, so keep yourself cool. The light layers like long sleeves to protect your skin, but also to stay cool. Just like in the Boy Scouts, leave no trace, plan ahead. Plan ahead of time so you don't get lost. Make sure you check the weather beforehand and always bring a mapping compass or a GPS so you don't get lost. You want to bring a mapping compass so you don't get lost. Dr. Backpacker and Kids here and today we're hiking the Bright Angels Trail on in the Grand Canyon. Well, at least part of it. Do you guys? How are you? It's a centipede. No. I mean a millipede. I don't know. Dr. Backpack and Kate's here, and today we're at the Mather Campground, and we're gonna spend our night looking at the stars. Night we did a stargazing class at Yoba Pie Lodge. We're in the Mather Campground at Grand Canyon National Park, and the idea tonight is for the night sky. And so we've got a nice clearing at this campsite, beautiful blue skies right now, a little before sunset. So hoping to see some great stars tonight. What we like about our campsite is all this open land behind us. So it's been fun in the Mather campground because the elk have been active and they're pretty much everywhere. 
Let me see. Let me see. That's a young one. Please, let me see them. Okay, be aware, honey. Yeah, yeah. Mule deer. Yeah. Group of three mule deer. I don't know if you can see him. We've got a, a sky full of stars tonight. It's beautiful. Getting up this morning in Grand Canyon. Last night it was pretty windy, but it didn't get nearly as cold as they thought it was going to be. They said it was going to get down in the upper 30s, but it didn't seem nearly as cold. And we were able to stay warm. Um, we did have to get in the middle of the night to go to the bathroom, and the large elk was right there, like five feet from us. But otherwise, it's pretty, pretty good evening. It's morning here in Grand Canyon, and when hiking and camping in desert areas like this where it's very dry is important to know the signs of dehydration to stay hydrated and those would be dry mouth tiredness headache dizziness producing a little bit of urine and even our youngest one was showing kind of signs of dehydration early in the trip which is important to make sure you stay hydrated the difficult part about dehydration is that the signs also mimic those of altitude sickness the site 288 Mather Campground. We're at Mather Campground with the elk right behind us. The fun part about the Mather Campground is the elk are everywhere, including on our campsite. The most concerning or most serious one when hiking in desert or in the heat is heat stroke, which is an emergency. And you need to look for professional help at that point. Call 911 if you're able to. That's where your body no longer has the ability to cool itself. And so you have a high body temperature, headache, confusion, rapid heart rate, rapid breathing. And so essentially the body's having a hard time trying to cool itself down. So get in a cool place, get some water, hydrate and try to get medical attention quickly. The part about the mornings is that it's very peaceful because there's not many people here. Hey, you should probably move, you could fall. Though the Grand Canyon is beautiful and everyone wants to get the best pictures, make sure you're far away from the ledge and stay safe. Make sure to like and subscribe if you like this video. Thanks, and see you at the trailhead. Although the Grand Canyon is pretty, and, t and uh, Dr. Bachner couldn't get to you, and today we're hiking the Angels, I don't know what it's called. Bright Angels. Bright Angel. Okay, straight up.